Man, I've heard on the news again, Biden has fallen. And it's not like he's fallen out of power, he's fallen out of this. He's literally fallen. That's sad. I mean, the guy is like, what, 80-something years old? He's just fallen. Now, okay, I understand. We as people, we as individuals, me, I know that I fall sometimes. But I get up again, get right back up again. Um, but, listen, I'm not here to discuss politics or anything, but Biden has fallen, that, that's a real sad thing. Um, but, as you know, older people, they tend to fall out of nowhere. It just happens. And that's why you need a caretaker. But if you need a caretaker, you shouldn't be a president. That's all I'm saying. But hopefully he gets his um, boundaries in step. Hopefully he gets his motions in step. Because you can't just keep on falling. Like, it's, it's not funny, but like you just, you can't just keep on falling. And, you know, I mean, sometimes, like, like I said, I fall. And it's only really because the curb just jumps out of nowhere. The sidewalk just jumps out of nowhere and it just trips me up. And I'm like, wow, I've fallen. But I get back up again. I get back up again. But no, nah, it's it's it's, def it's definitely sad, man, about Biden. But anyway, when I hear talk about politics, let's get it started, y'all. Let's get it started. It is Perkins Talks. I'm so glad that y'all are here for another Let's Talk. Saturday edition, and we're just gonna get it started. We're gonna get it off right. We're gonna do it right. You understand know what I'm saying? I got my little drinky drink right here. I don't know if I can show y'all what I'm drinking because it's probably I probably get copyrighted or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you hear that? Oh, listen, 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 listen. Oh, oh, how beautiful is that, right? We're just gonna take a little sippy sip. Man, whoa. Like I said, I'm glad that y'all decided to tune into the video. Hopefully that y'all stay for the full video. It may be a little long, and I do apologize for that. I do like to talk now. So now my videos went from like 10 minutes to like 12, 15, 20, and sometimes even 30. But I do apologize for that. I just said there's a lot of, there's a lot that I want to talk to y'all about. And sometimes I just like to talk. Even though sometimes I do repeat myself a lot of times, but I just like to talk. But anyway, sorry for the echo in the room. There's really nothing in the room. There's just three walls, actually three and a half walls, and plus you got a door. So there's a little echo. If there's a little echo, I do apologize. Oh, another sip. Another sip. Ah. All right, y'all, listen. This one thing I know, I know either you have done it or has or it's been done to you. Cause I know I've done it before. Um, maybe more than once or twice. Uh, but I know, I know, I know we we've we we've, we've done it. Especially us New Yorkers. I know we are I know we we New Yorkers do it. Um disclaimers. Or they call them micro oh, what's the word? And I'm I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, in another video, but it's called microaggression. Microaggression. I never really heard the word uh, microaggression before, and of course, just getting into new stuff, just reading about new stuff. Um, that's they say that these words are part of the whole microaggression movement. And I don't want to say movement because it's probably been there a long time, but it's, of course, it's not something that I've known about because it's not something I've studied. You know. Or it's not even something that I've just read about, but I read about it the other day. Well, while I was preparing for this video, let me tell you, this video I've actually tried to record maybe three, three or so different times, and it has not worked out well. I can tell y'all that for a fact, y'all. You know I'm saying, but anyway, so this I call them disclaimers. They call them microaggression. So what? So a disclaimer, right? Um, you're going to tell somebody something before you offend them or before you try not to offend them, right? So you tell them, um, I don't mean to offend you, but 
dot, 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 right? So, like, here's an example. I don't mean to offend you, but that dress don't look good on you. I don't mean to offend you, but you're breathing really heavy. I don't mean to offend you, but um, you smell. I don't mean to offend you, but your breath stinks. I don't mean to offend you, but you fill in the blanks. I know we've said it before because I know I've said it before. And I'm not saying that you are me or that I'm you and whatever, whatever. But I know we've said it before. If we're truly honest, we can say that we have said it before. And it's not something that we want to offend somebody. That's why we say, dude, I don't want to offend you. So it's letting the, so what, what, what we're doing is that we're trying to soften the blow, right, of our offense our offense. So we're trying to soften the blow of our offense by putting a disclaimer in there by letting the person know, hey, listen, I'm going to offend you. It's going to happen. You're going to be offended. You're going to feel a certain way. You're going to uh, want to respond in a certain way. But I'm letting you know beforehand so you can't really get offended. So you can't choose to be offended. So you can't choose the offense. Because I'm telling you that I'm going to offend you. I'm letting you know beforehand that I'm going to offend you. So you can't really get offended. I've already apologized before I offended you. How are you going to get offended about that? Come on, have you ever used that word? I know I have. Um, or one of them. But I, got, I, got, I got some more. I definitely got some more. So you want to hear them? I'm going to tell you some. Um... Not in a bad way, but maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's like, maybe I shouldn't say this, but that dress is not your color. Purple is not your, oh, excuse me, I don't mean to offend you, but purple is not your color. <laughs> um... I don't mean I I don't mean this to offend you, but like I said before, you know, um, I don't want to sound mean, but and I think that's most of New Yorkers, most of the New Yorkers' um, uh, uh, catchphrase on that one is like, "Hey, I don't mean <laughs> I don't I don't want to sound mean, but." Because a lot of times, you know, we we New Yorkers, we 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 especially coming to the South now, right? So de dealing with, so dealing with, uh, so a New Yorker dealing with a New Yorker is just common knowledge. It's like it's just like something that's just a, a rhetoric that you understand. But when you come to the South, oh man, there can be some people that will get offended, and it's not that you're trying to offend them or it's not that you want to offend them. It's just, it's just that they take it in a way that it's offensive. And, and sometimes you, sometimes with me, whenever I speak, I don't realize it a lot of times. And, and, and even that's when even someone had said to me, that was like, I don't think you realize the things you say. <clears throat> a lot of times I don't just because, I was born and raised in New York, so the national tongue was just sarcasm. Sarcasm and maybe disrespect. But disrespect in a way that it doesn't seem like it's disrespect. So it's like something that's just like swept underneath the rug that we're just like, oh, that's a problem. But we're just gonna sweep it underneath the rug so that you don't realize that it's a problem. So that you don't say Oh, you being disrespectful. So that's why we. That's why we. That's why, that's why a lot of times why we try to soften the blow, soften it. You know, just ee, soften it a little bit. Microaggressions. This is what they call them. Anyway, uh, another one. Um, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but. I mean this in the best way possible, but come on, I know y'all, I know y'all said well, at least one of these on the list, and of course there are many more to um, to this list here, but I just wrote down the 
the the common ones, you know, the common ones that we normally use, the common ones that we normally uh, put in our language just, just so that we can just get by, right? <laughs> and like I said, to me, to me, it, to me, it, it it's it's just funny. It's it's just funny the way the way we we uh, communicate as individuals, you know. Um, because, like I said, me talking to a New Yorker, they won't really get offended with what I say. You know, they're like, "Oh, that's just how Charles is." Okay, whatever. But me talking to someone in the South, they're like, "Oh my God, you really are rude." <laughs> like, what? What was rude that I said? I don't understand that, but. Okay. Um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. But that like I said, that's just that's just how it is. That's just how we that's how we communicate, you know? Uh we communicate through sarcasm. And and a lot of times people just don't understand that. Because it comes off as snarky or rude and listen, I don't mean to offend you. But this is where we roll around right here. This is where we roll around right here, girl. Come on now. Oh man. <clears throat> Another thing that I want to talk to y'all about. We're just gonna slide through this. Man, listen. Some of y'all need to take breaks. Some of y'all need just to relax. Kick your feet up and just drink drink your favorite beverage, whether it has um, alcohol in it or whether it does not. Just take a moment to kick your feet up and just to relax and just to uh, just to chill out, man. You know, just to chill out because these days are are, are like like that you know these days they 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 come and go they come and go they come and go um but we need to we need to just take the opportunity just to just to breathe relax to rest you know like you we're always going 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 but there's times where you just need to stop Whoopsie. There's times where you just need to stop. You need to relax. You need to hit that pause button. Just hit the pause button real quick. Hit that pause button and just 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 take just take take some time out for yourself. Take uh take a, a, a self-care day. Take some time out for yourself. But we're gonna go to the Bible on this one. We're gonna go to Matthew eleven verse twenty-eight. To 30, where it says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There's times where we just get, where we are just bombarded by either kids, either by work, either by, um, Police, either by normal traffic throughout the day, we are bombarded by so much throughout the day. And God says, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's not saying that, hey, I'll put you to sleep <laughs> so you can sleep for a full 12 hours. What he's saying is that, let me read on, because I... It's 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 in here. If it's not in here, then I will explain. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. Learn from me. Learn learn what I do. Learn how I how I how I roll. Learn what learn all it is is to learn. And 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 you will have your rest. You will you will find your rest. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find the rest for your soul. Your soul is 
is one that's just been in not in torment because that's not really it's not a really good thing, but your 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 soul is like the main the main part of your whole body. So he's saying like, hey, listen. Hey, listen, you will find rest for your soul. You will find rest. But take my yoke upon you. And you will find rest. You will find what it means to just to sit back in the presence of God and chill out and just say, Lord, have your way. Oh, man. All right, verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. So basically, all you all your cares, right? All your cares, all your worries, all your concerns. You're just gonna take it, take it, and just put it at the feet of the cross. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna take every worry, every concern. Every care, every um, negative report, everything that you have, you're going to take it, you're going to carry it, and you're going to put it at the feet of Jesus. And you're just going to leave it there. You're going to leave it there. Why get stressed out about stuff that you can't, you can't, that you have no control over? Why get, why, why get, why get stressed about stuff that that doesn't, that doesn't matter no more? The day is. Long gone. That's a long gone day. So why worry about it? Why stress over it? Why, why make yourself get gray hair over it? it doesn't make sense, right? But a lot of us, what we need to do, it's just this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Oh, man, wow. Didn't feel that yard coming. Wow, this is it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. And just sit back and relax. Sit back, close your eyes. Put on some classical music. Sometimes I like classical music, and sometimes it puts me to sleep. Um, but sometimes it's also relaxing me too. Or like jazz music. Oh man, the sound of a saxophone. Oh my gosh. Man. But how about you institute an hour in your day? I'm going to get into an hour in your day so that you can have that rest, so you can have that mental blockage, so you so you can just clear your mind of everything that goes on in the day. Clear your mind of everything that, that may bombard you day in and day out. And say, you know what? That don't matter. That man, I'm focusing on something much greater. I'm focusing on something much better. I'm focusing on um, something just totally different. You wouldn't even understand if I told you. You wouldn't even comprehend it if I explained it to you. You wouldn't even see it if I just showed you it. It's something on another playing field, something on another radar. I'm telling you. <clears throat> but come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest come to me draw near to God and he will draw near to you it says in the scriptures um, book of James I believe But how about that's what we need to do is really just say, God, here is all my thoughts. Here's all my um, sinful ways. Here's everything. And I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Here's, 
you know, I can't deal with it. I can't can't handle it by myself. I I I, I can't. So you're gonna have to take it. You're gonna have to um uh release me from this lore. And I'm telling you, he will he will do it. He will definitely do it, you know? But you're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to actually put in the work just to leave it at the feet of Jesus Christ and not pick it up again, not pick it up again, not just say, Okay, I left it there. Okay, God didn't, didn't take care of it. I, I got didn't he take care of it. Okay. So now I'm gonna take it with us. No. Leave it there. Leave it there and, <laughs> and just just rest in him. Rest in him. That's what we need to do. Just rest. Rest in God, man. Rest, rest, rest. <clears throat> rest in him, man. He's he's gonna give you the peace that <laughs> he's gonna give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. But it's in him that you'll find it. It's in him that you'll get it. It's in him that you'll see it. It's in him. 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 <sighs> you ain't gonna find it in something else. You ain't gonna find it in the next thing. You're only gonna find it in him. And that's it. So cheer. So cheers. And know that your rest be found in Jesus. Listen, take care, y'all. Definitely talk to y'all next time. Definitely see y'all next time. It is Perkins Talks. It is all things Perkins. It is Mr. Perkins. That's who it is. Listen, y'all. Um, we have t-shirts available. We got new shirts available. Oh, man, those shirts are so beautiful. I, I really like them. I really think they, they look good. Um, so... You, well, we will be putting it up on the website. We just haven't yet because we haven't just taken uh, individual pictures of them yet. Um, I only have like pictures of all of them, all the colors together. I haven't. Um, I've had time to take individual photos of the shirts, but I will, and then I'll post on the website uh, so y'all can go ahead and over there and check it out. Right? Sparkle Talks. Tune in next time. Let's talk, baby. Take care.